Hi everyone, I'm Taffy, and today I would like to talk to you about how to use Node and NPM to create um, command line tools. So when we talk about NPM packages, we talk about server side like Express, and the browser side like um, Angular, and command line um, like Gulp, Nodemon, and today we're going to focus on command line. So um, command line tools are the little helpers that will make our life easier, just like Nodemon and Gulp. And also they're just very cool because they look like magic. Um, so the easiest way to go into is like uh, we run the NPN start and it's like a shortcut kind of thing that it will run node app.js. And later on we learn we can write Nodem on app.js. So Nodem on would keep uh, watching the changes and um, restart the server for you. And all you need to do is write Nodem on app.js. So um, it's not magic. It's actually something they wrote into their whole package. And when you do that, um, it's like a keyword you type in and you take, take in the source and it will do that for you. So today I would like to show you a very basic, super basic uh, way to build a <laughs> command line module. And um, it's about GitHub commits. So let's go. Uh, oops. <laughs> That's my capstone. <laughs> so first thing you want to do is to npm init. And you all know how to do that. So I'm going to just scheme over it. And on here, you can see there is a bin. Is it too small? Is that better? OK. So inside this bin, you actually put all the commands that you want to use, um, where you can call it shortcut that you want to use. And on the uh, right-hand side, that uh, are the files that you want to connect to those commands. So let's go to the commands folder and open status.js there. Um, after you open a file, the first thing you want to do is to write in that um, shebang line. Because we are running this inside the command line, we want to give it an interpreter directive. And if you don't know yet how to find your directive, you just type which node and it will give you that line. So you just uh, put it on top of every file that you want to, you want to run with all these. Okay. And um, so in here, I install chalk, just have some colors. And cats is another file that I drew some cats in here. <laughs> and, um, and I install shell.js. Shell.js is a very um, helpful and useful no module that um, will give you these functions, like echo. And you can write into the thing that you want to write. So when you run this file, it's actually going to run the command line for you. So echo, um, exit. And since I already installed it, let's try if that actually works. And I'll make this smaller so you can see. OK. All right. So let's try do node commands status.js. There. OK, it works. Awesome. <laughs> um, so that's magical, I want. And no, you're not done yet. It's not. You're still running with node. So what you have to do is to do sudo npm link and type in your password. And if you don't like to type sudo every time and type in your password, I include a link that will help you fix your permission so you don't need to do that. Um, Every time it's in the resource, and I'll slack all my slides. So now they look like they're linked. So let's try that out. And this is a really linked to my GitHub. So I should be able to type status. It'll give me a cat saying that all these files are modified and new file delete file. And I can do add. Oh, add. Uh, add all the files. <laughs> and um, I'm going to give it a command, sorry, and add it. And 
I can also push, so push all the files, and you can stash, you can pop, that can. <laughs> but these are still working like locally on your on your machine, and if you want to like share this to everyone in the world, you want to publish to npm more. Um, this is like a really simple version of the command line tool. The deeper would be like uh, maybe create a function that would run the test and like solve problems. So when you're developing a uh, project, you want to use these tools to make your life simpler. You don't need to keep going back and check things. You can create a tool that check things for you, basically. And I heard our um, Assista has something like that. <laughs> and um, so yeah. Now you need to do is create a cal from um, from npm and just log in here npm login and type in my username. Now you all know my email. Okay, so I log in, and one last thing to do because I already published it before. I need to change your version so it doesn't like. It doesn't yell at me saying that you can't publish the same version. And the command is this, npm publish access public. You can uh, have the access to be private, but you have to pay for it. So, <laughs> And why not share with everyone in the world, right, if you have something cool? Um, OK, so it looks like it's published. And let's see here. One zero six, correct. So now everyone can npm install g <laughs> my Git cat, <laughs> and I. All right. So everything looks good. If you want to try it on your computer, you are more than welcome to. Um, there are still some problems that we like to solve about more about GitHub command, and um, you are more than welcome to talk to me, or like we can discuss how we can do that. And these no. I'm not showing my slide. <laughs> These are the resources, and the um, bottom, the second one on the bottom is the one to fix permission. All right, thank you.